Well, let me tell you, today is a beautiful day to be hunting. We had a cold front come in last night, and I'm really hoping that deer will be on their feet tonight. It's about 5.25. I just got out of work and changed my clothes. Gonna head out there now, so we'll see what happens, and maybe we'll at least see something. First set of the year. Well, I just got down here to the arrow and it looks super bright and bubbly, red blood. So I think it went right through the lungs, maybe the heart. Um, I could start to see a little bit of a trail going to where she ran off. I think I'm gonna go back up to the truck, get a little bit of signal, kind of let everyone know and also see if maybe someone wants to come help me. Um, as you can see, it's really dark now, but 
I'm just gonna give her some time, but I still think it was a good shot. And then maybe track her here in a couple minutes, so we'll see. That's a big doe. Well, I had an absolutely amazing first hunt of the year. It's the first time I've been able to get back um, in the Midwest and then hunt whitetails. I've been in Wyoming and Colorado chasing mule deer and then some elk with a couple different buddies. And this is about four or five days after opening day and got back to Missouri and there was a cold front that moved in last night and I think it dropped about 20 degrees. And so the, the whole day today was really nice. And so I was like, I better get in the stand after work. So I rushed home from work, got in the truck, came out here and sat for about an hour and a half till sunset. And just a little bit before sunset, I noticed a couple of doe walking out across the field. And then a little bit later, I hear some rustling behind me and there's a bunch of doe behind me and they're like 10 yards, but I can't get a shot because of all the green um, trees right now being early season. But then I looked back to my left right out in front of me and 10 yards, this one and a couple other doe were walking right in front of me. So I flipped on the cameras and slowly got my bow and then started to get pulled back. And she never knew I was there. And I center punched her at about 10 yards and watched her run off and called everybody, made sure that everyone knew that I got one. And so I got Papa out of here. He's the one holding the light and helped, he had me, or he helped me track her, but she didn't go probably 150 yards and then she died. But very thankful for her. Very thankful the Lord was able to bless me with her. And she's a huge nanny doe, that's for sure. But if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to always have a better than an average day. Won't you